what's going on everybody welcome to the channel and the video of the Bayang Toys X16 RC quadcopter with the brushless motors opening up the box we have a package containing the landing legs a propeller lug nut wrench a screwdriver and an allen wrench with some screws next up is the charge cord and the quadcopter itself. The X16 feels really strong and solid and does not feel like a toy quad but that of a more expensive hobby grade quad. There is a protruding antenna on the top. I am not sure if it is a working antenna or just for looks but it is reminiscent of the Cheerson CX20. The brushless motors are the main selling point of this quad but it seems to have the same motor housing as the SEMA X8 quadcopters. The bottom belly has lots of room for attaching a gimbal and it has the on and off switch as well. Looking at the battery bay, the connectors are the banana type as that of the SEMA X8 quadcopters. The battery itself, however, is a 11.1 volt, 2200 milliamp size. The quadcopter looks really nice with the cockpit window-like feature and Typhoon written on top of the canopy, so I guess its name is the X16 Typhoon. Flipping over the box, we have the set of props but the zip locks seems small for the props but nevertheless we are given a set of extra props that look familiar it's kinda like the CX20 props now the transmitter is not the hobby grade but it is bigger than most toy grade and feels good in the hands and it will take six AA size batteries finally there is the balance charger It seems I am missing the instruction manual, so hopefully it is not too complicated. So here are the contents of the box. This quadcopter's control distance is up to 350 meters, and the charge time on the 2200 milliamp battery is 3 to 4 hours, and the flying time is around 12 to 16 minutes. And it also has the headless mode and the one key return. As you can see here, there are three motor mount screws holding down the motor, and one of them is missing. And it looks like this quad was manufactured to take the motors like that of the SEMA X8, but somehow during the process, they have decided to go brushless instead. All right. Got the battery installed now. I'm going to plug it in. Okay, the power comes on. That's nice. Shove these guys in. Okay. Turning on the transmitter. Okay. Well, I think it already binded, but the throttle doesn't work. And I do not have an instruction manual that came with the quadcopter. So I was fooling around with it and bolt sticks to the bottom out. It will initiate the motors. And again, bolt sticks to the bottom out will cut the motors. I learned that much so far. And of course, this is probably the speed button. Two speeds. One, two. This is probably the flip button, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna to have to test it out on the field what it does. I don't know what these buttons do here, and I don't know what these buttons do here, but I'm assuming these are Fox buttons because they don't make any noises. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's some kind of headless mode or something like that. Um, so I'm gonna to have to figure it out somehow, but 
Uh, surprising thing about this quad cutter is, let me cut the motors out. I was able to put on my SEMA X8W's Wi-Fi camera onto it, and it fits in there, and it plugs in, I'm sorry, plugs into the port where the camera goes. Now, this quadcopter did not come with a camera. I chose the one that doesn't come with the camera because I don't want to get another one of these that's so-so quality camera. So I plugged this in just to see how it works, if it works or not. And look at that. Lo and behold, it has power and it is blinking. So let's check out the app connecting to the FPV Wi-Fi. Connected. And I got visual. I got Wi-Fi connection from the SEMA X8W Wi-Fi camera. As you can see, and it's working pretty good. So I'm glad I didn't get the one with the camera. Now I have already a camera that I already had. So I'm going to take a little video. There's the video, and yes, I have recording of the video. Okay, another thing that I've noticed too is what I'm going to do is turn the power of the quadcopter off. There you go, I turned it off, and I'm going to turn off the transmitter too. Now let's wait. hear that beeping so you have to undo the uh, battery cables in order to completely shut down the quadcopter's internal functions okay I've installed the propellers on here and I'm ready to go so let's go check it out Here's another thing that I just got done doing is I've attached the SEMA X8G's the 1080p camera, the HD camera with the 5 megapixels. And I'm using a GoPro anti jello mount. It has the same kind of proprietary plug as the SEMA X8 platform. And I got the power going to the X8G camera. So let's take a look at that. With this remote, uh, I'm going to go ahead and press the button for the camera, for the photo. So let's see. There you go. It took a photo. And I'm going to press the uh, button for the uh, video. And there you go. The red light is blinking. So even works with the SEMA X8G's 5 megapixel 1080p camera. Turn on the quadcopter. Okay. Quadcopter is on. Turning on the transmitter. Now starting the motors. Nice. Sounds mean. Yep. Sounds like the old brushless motors. Very nice. Let's see if it takes off. Speed button here. I'm thinking this is the flip button. Uh, I was able to find out that this was the headless mode. One key return. Photo button. Video button. And I don't know what this button does. All of these buttons are trim buttons. So... And these buttons are false buttons or fox buttons or far buttons or whatever. Okay, let's go take off. Pretty cool. Man, brushless motor quad. 115 bucks. Really nice. Uh, 
Okay. I'm gonna re-land it here. And cut the motors off. We're gonna do calibration here. Yep, calibration to the left bottom and calibration to the right. Yep, that works too. So let's retake off here. Start the motors again. Man, there's a lot of ants down here. Is it any stable? More? Stabler? <laughs> Yeah, I think so. It was drifting to the right earlier. Now it's very stable. Now it's just the wind bringing it back towards me. All right. Really nice, really nice. Let's see. Here's the yaw. And you know what is uh, uncanny is the legs, the landing legs are SEMA X8 landing legs. <laughs> Isn't that cool? All right, let's go to speed number two. Not a whole lot of power. But it's enough and remember this is not a sporty kind of drone or quadcopter sorry it's more like a video platform kind of a quadcopter so that's more than enough speed and pitch let's see the yaw yep the yaw is really good on speed number two Okay, let's see if it does flips. Brushless motor doing flips. Nope, it will not do flips. We don't need for this kind of quadcopter to do flips, but nope. 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 No flips. Okay. So let's try the headless mode. Pressing this button here. Yep. That annoying beeping noise. Yep. The headless mode works good. Going away from me spinning. Going to the left. Going to the right. Yep, the headless mode works really good. Let me get out of the headless mode. Double beep and it stops beeping. Okay, let's send it out right around here. And let's see the one key return or return to home. Yep, return to home works. Okay, now in the product page, it says when you disconnect, it's supposed to come back and land itself. Man, I really don't want to try that. It's probably just going to fall to the ground. I'll do it like right there. I turned it off and it... Oh, dude. Okay, I was able to save it, turn the motors off. So it did some weird function. <laughs> and guess what? I broke my uh, stick, man. <laughs> okay. All right, let's go back. I'm going to have to glue that back or I broke the screw on it or something. Anyways, put that in the old pocket. Let's um, restart the quad. Okay, so don't do that. <laughs> It does some weird function, tries to come back home, but it acts erratically. So, 
keep in mind that. <laughs> Just wanted to try it out. Whew. Thank God I didn't break nothing. Okay, speed number two again. You're supposed to have pretty long flight time with this thing. 12 to 16 minutes. Okay, do a selfie circle. Yeah, nice and smooth. You can do nice selfie circles. Okay, let me bring this in, land it. I'm gonna stick a camera on there. So let's, uh, boat sticks down and out, cuts the motors off. Okay, Wi-Fi is on. I'm hooking up to the uh, FPB Wi-Fi. It is a SEMA FPV Wi-Fi. You will see in a minute, I am hooked on. Okay, we got the SEMA app started. Pressing start, and we got visual. And the reason why is because I have my SEMA X8W camera attached to it, and it is plugged in. And this is compatible with the SEMA X8W uh, Wi-Fi camera. So let's go and go for a flight here. I'm going to start recording. And I don't have a uh, phone holder. So I'm just going to gently stick it right there. Go in the shade where I can see the visual. So here we go. We have visual. We're going to start the quadcopter and let's take off nice okay we'll keep it kind of high yep I got visual and I got Wi-Fi FPV here remember the Wi-Fi FPV is not the most reliable FPV source because it does have a lag like right there <laughs> I'm going to keep, an, keep my eye out on the quadcopter at the same time here. But look at that, it works. Okay, let's take it up a little bit. We'll still fly in FPV. The selfie circle.
Okay, I think that just about does it. I'm going to bring it in for a landing. So we'll do it right around here. Okay, hoo hoo! Cut the motors. All right. Okay. We got the Typhoon X16 here. And I do have the SEMA X8G 1080p 5 megapixel camera attached to it. And let's go for a little flight here. Attaching my battery. Okay. Lots of room in the battery compartment, tell you, for all the wires. Okay, as you can see, uh, this guy is not on. So it's kind of finicky. It wants to come on sometimes, and it doesn't want to come on sometimes. See, it does not want to come on right now. For some reason, you have to unplug it, plug it back in, and if that doesn't work, you will have to unplug the cord to the camera and re-plug it in and that seemed to turn the camera on so now i got the camera on i'm going to point it down slightly like so let's see how that works yep just like that and there you go it is on turn the quadcopter and the transmitter and bind it and let's see now this is the photo button so let's take a couple of photos and see if that works yes it worked now let's turn on the video camera yes and we got blinking red light so it is recording so let's go for a little flight turning on the uh motors
That's pretty high. Okay, now bring it in. I think that's pretty good flight for the camera demonstration. And this thing is like really nice, man. For $115, we got a winner here for sure. Brushless motors, kind of like the CX. 20, the Cheerson CX20 and pretty nice looking too I might add and the SEMA X8 features so this is kind of like the <laughs> love child of the Cheerson CX20 and the SEMA X8 that's what it is you get best of both worlds of course you don't have GPS and stuff like that but Nevertheless, man, you got a working camera right there, taking videos, awesome. And I thought my HD camera that I got from the X8G, well, that was the only platform that I was going to be able to use it. But this is giving it new life because of the brushless motors. I can go higher, I can go farther, I think. It reportedly has a 300 and somewhat uh, meters. this maximum distance range 360 meters I believe it was and you don't have to worry about the motors going bad during the flight that's the main thing because the SEMA X8 platform you kind of have to worry about whether or not the motors are gonna go bad while in flight and just come crashing down like it did to me once before actually it did to me twice but once it did to me really bad the motor just burnt out in mid-flight the other time it kind of landed itself so it was okay the other motors kind of compensate to stabilize the gyros but man this one has that this one has the brushless motors nice and sporty Though it's not meant to be sporty, but it's got lots of power. I think that's pretty good demo. Oh man. Lots of power, man, like I said. Nice. I don't want to land it. <laughs> it's one of those. Sure bits flying this one than the SEMA X8, for sure, man. You may even call this one the SEMA X8 killer. And for the price, hell. It's a Cheerson CX-20 killer. But then again, you don't have that GPS altitude hold and return to home and land functions. But this is just as good. All right, the lights are flashing. Wonder if I can land on the bin. All right, landed on the bin. Turn off the camera. So I got it recorded. Nice. All right then.